All right, so let's take a look at the calculus, AP calculus AB FRQ number five from 2025. So two particles H and J are moving along the X axis. The position of particle H is given by X H of T and the velocity of particle J at times T is given by that. Find the velocity of particle H at times show the work that leads to your answer. So the velocity of H is gonna be the derivative of this guy. And what's the derivative of this guy? Well, exponential, you have an outer function, inner function, that's a chain rule. So it's e to the t squared minus 4t. Then the inner function is t squared minus 4t. So the derivative of that is going to be 2t minus 4. And then they just want to compute it at 1. right? So that's e to the 1 minus 4 times 2 minus 4. right? And so that's going to be uh, negative. You can just leave it like that, honestly. Negative 2 e to the negative 3. It's a perfectly fine answer there. OK. During what open intervals are particle H and J moving in opposite directions? So directions is the sign of velocity. So we want to know when the velocity is positive or negative for both of them. So let's see when this guy's positive or negative. So to do that, we want to do a sign of VH of T. So you make a chart. So first, you need to know when it's 0 or undefined. And that occurs when now this, that, so this is e to the t squared minus 4t. Um, minus 2t minus 4 equals 0. Exponential functions are never 0. So then two, then that just means 2t minus 4 has to be 0, and that's going to be t equals 2. So on number line, we're going to go from 0 to 5. You just have a point here at 2. And you say, like, OK, if I plugged in, like, 1, we found it was negative, right? Because exponentials, e to anything is always positive. And if I plug in, like, 10, then this thing would be positive. Or sorry, not 10, like, like 3 or 4. This would be positive, and this would be positive. Positive times positive is positive. So now we want to do the sign of Vj of t, right? So we need to know when the velocity of that one is 0. So Vj of t is equal to 2t times t squared minus 1 cubed. We want to know when that's 0. That occurs when either 2t is 0, so t is equal to 0, or t squared minus 1 is equal to 0. And that occurs at t is equal to plus or minus 1. But we're only going from 0 to 5, so we just care about the positive one there, right? So here, we're going to have 0. We're going to have 5. 0 is already in there, so we just put 1 right here. Now, here's where you got to be very careful when you're plugging in values, right? So now we're going to plug in like 1 half. So that's positive. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. 1 fourth minus 1 is negative. Negative cubed is still negative. So it would be positive times a negative, and that's going to be uh, negative. And then um, from 1 to 5, so let's pick the number like 3. This would be positive. This would be positive because 3 squared minus 1 is positive. If I cube, it's positive. So positive times positive is positive. And so when are they moving opposite directions is there's this little overlap, right, between 1 and 2 here, right? And so that's going to that, where, where VH is moving in the negative direction. VJ is moving in the positive direction. So that's going to be 1 less than T less than 2 like that. Okay, uh, part C can be shown that Vj prime of two is greater than zero. Is the speed of the particle j increasing, decreasing, or neither at t equals zero? So, well, um, speeding up or the speed that's speeding up or slowing down has to do with whether or not the um, the velocity acceleration at the same sign. So they're saying Vj prime of two is greater than zero. We need to know what the direction that it's moving, what the velocity is Vj of two. We just calculated here is going to be positive from our number line, positive. And so it's speeding up. So it increases because Vj prime of 2 and Vj of 2 are the same sign. Part D, particle J is at position x equals 7 at t equals 0. Find the position at time t equals 2. Okay, so they're saying we know the position t equals zero, and we have um, we have the velocity of j. So how does that relate? Is you got to remember that the integral from a to b of a rate, remember velocity is the derivative of the position of v j of t dt, is literally just going to be his position of at b minus the position at a. Now what are we going to pick? for a and b as our bounds, is we know that at time 0, it's 7. So we're going to go from 0, time, to 2. So we're going to say integral from 0 to 2 of vj. And vj is, 
what 2t t squared minus 1 cubed of 2t times t squared minus 1 cubed dt is going to be xj at 2, which is what we want, and xj at 0, which we know is 7, because they told us at time 0, the position is 7. Right, so we just add, so just gonna move that seven over to this side to cancel that out. And so then we're gonna get seven plus, let's do the integral of this guy. Now this one, I'm, I would do this on the side or you know, somewhere, you know, as a side piece of information here, we're gonna do a u substitution or you could, you could expand it out. That would be like one way to do it, like foil that thing out, that's pretty tedious. But we'll do a u substitution is nice because it will, it's a nice trick here, du is two t, dt, and it will save us some effort here. So d, d, t, the 2t dt, that's our du. And then this part here is u cubed. So then this is going to be the integral of u cubed du. And we've got to do the bound conversions. When uh, t is 0, right, then u is negative 1. So we're going to do negative 1. And then when t is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, we're going to do, it's going to be like that. And so... That part goes right here. And then now we don't have to convert back into t. We just did the bound conversion there. So that's gonna be seven plus u to the fourth over four from negative one to three. That's gonna be seven plus three to the fourth over four minus negative one to the fourth over four. And I'm just gonna leave my answer like that. You can simplify, you can use a calculator you want to check your answers, but that is sufficient for answering a non-calculator FRQ.